Hey folks, uh, these protests that are happening in Iran right now, this is not good, all right? Now, a lot of young people in Iran have deep frustrations. They're frustrated with the country. They want things to reform and change. Um, and that's one thing. But if you look at what's happening now, we've already seen that the U.S. government is basically supporting these protests. Um, and look what happened in Syria. Look what happened in Libya. Look what happened in Iraq. Uh, the result of efforts by the United States to destabilize these countries is not good. It's not good at all. Um, you know, if you look at all these countries, uh, what happens is uh, the USA, you know, supports movements against these governments in the name of supporting democracy, in the name of making things better, and the result is things getting a lot worse. Um, you know, and if you look at Iran right now, if the government of Iran were to fall, one of the most stable parts of that region, that has been probably the most stable part of that region for the last 30, uh, 30 or 20 years, um, that part of the region would become even more chaotic. And who is the USA supporting against the Iranian government right now? Well, you've got the Mujahideen Khalq, and this is a crazed sect, uh, an Islamo-Marxist sect in Iran, just nuts. They used to work for Saddam Hussein. They torture people, they kill people. You've got Sunni separatists on the Afghan border that are involved in heroin dealing and are connected with Al-Qaeda. That's not good at all. Uh, you've got Pavlovists, people that want to restore the absolute monarchy, and all these groups would start fighting each other for power. Okay, the overthrow of the Iranian government uh, is, is not in anyone's interest. It'll lead to absolute chaos throughout that region. Um, you know, and, and the fact that our media is, is supporting these these protests should show you that this is nothing progressive. This is about trying to tear down Iran. And since the 1979 revolution, a lot of progress has been made. A lot of highways have been built. A lot of power plants have been constructed. People have been raised out of poverty. Uh, you know, the life expectancy of people in Iran has, has greatly improved. They've got electricity. They've got running water. All of that would be torn down. Don't let them do to Iraq. Uh, don't let them do to Iran what they did to Iraq, what they've done to Syria, what they've done to Libya. Uh, that's not going to benefit anyone, especially not people in Iran.